means for ornament is before you ever dip your blowpipe in water, you always put your finger over the end of it. So you cap it and dip it. The reason being is if you put that hot blowpipe in water, it's going to create steam. And the steam will shoot out the other end of the blowpipe. So very simply, we cap it, we dip it. When we're finished with our blowpipes, we do not put it in the bucket to the left of the furnace. We put it in one of these two buckets, either clear recycling or colored trash. The clear recycling we throw in the back, at back in the furnace at the end of the day. The colored trash we bring to the dump where they crush it up and recycle it for us. Any questions on that? So Josh is going to do a demo for us on how to blow an ornament. When you're blowing a bubble of glass, it's very much like blowing a balloon. You use your cheeks. You puff with your cheeks. That initial burst is the hardest, much like blowing a balloon. And then it gets a lot easier. So we're going to be right there. We're going to tell you to slow down and when to stop. When we tell you to stop, make sure to stop or it's going to blow out the other end. It's not that big of a deal, but just kind of move away from the little particles of glass. We're going to get it in the heat as fast as we can. Any questions? Also, when we're making ornaments, you're going to see that there's a lot of teamwork involved. We have some rubbing alcohol and paper towels, so we're going to be cleaning the mouthpiece so we don't share all of our germs. We're going to have somebody, the person that's making the ornament, is going to sit at the bench, roll the pipe, and cut the neck. One of their partners is going to be nice enough to sit on the stool and blow into the end of the blowpipe for them. This is all going to make sense in a minute because we're going to do a demo. So the person that's sitting and blowing, you always blow really light. I can't emphasize this enough. You're going to feel really bad if you blow really hard at first and you blow out somebody's ornament. So we blow really light at first and we'll tell you to keep blowing a little harder, a little harder, a little harder, and when to stop. So your number one job is to pay a lot of attention and to listen to the cues because you can't see what's going on and it's not your piece and you're going to feel really bad if you mess it up. And if it does happen, don't worry about it. We have enough time. We'll start again. Everybody will get an ornament in the box. Okay? So Josh has a hot blowpipe right there. Uh, he's blowing into it to make sure it's not clogged. He's capping it with his thumb and he's dipping it in water before he gathers. When he gathers, it's all the same. So he's gathering in the furnace and he's going to come out and he's going to practice our marvering skills. So he's got his back hand down low, pulling all the glass off the blowpipe. Slowly lifting that back hand up and shaping all the glass that's off the blowpipe. And he's rolling nice and smooth and even. Once it's a nice even shape, he blows his bubble. He's holding it up, he's puffing on his cheeks, and he's always spinning. You're going to see the bubble slowly start to come out. It's really hard at first, it's coming, oh, it's out. Now he's going to stop. So, he's going to get a hot in the glory hole. And me being his partner, I'm going to sit at the bench for him. And I'm going to blow really light into his blowpipe. Meanwhile, Josh is going to cut the neck. It's a lot of teamwork and communication, especially now as we start progressing through our skills of glass. Josh is the gaffer, I'm the assistant. It's his piece, he's the boss, and I'm just trying to help him in any way I can. So he is dropping. 
chopping it off in what we call the nest. I've got a solid rod with a little bit of glass on it, and we're gonna do this for you until you become comfortable. We're plopping it on the hole where the neckline was. He's gonna take as much material as he wants, and then he's gonna give it a snip. He can then use the tweezers to flip it over, and we'll put it in the annealer. So that's how we get the loopy on to hang it. The loopy is a lot harder than it looks. So once more, we'll do it for you at first and then we'll slowly let you take over responsibility of making your own loopies. This will ensure that you get to keep your first bubbles and it'll be functional. Yeah, we're gonna learn how to build them. We wanna build everything in the shop ourselves. Come on, up and out. Beautiful. Let's go to the marver. Put our backhand down low. Somebody can get your butt over there. All right, lift that backhand up. This is looking beautiful. Keep marver and backhand up a little more. Backhand up a little more. No, not this time. So why don't you come on over here and rest right on this bench and blow into the end of it. So let's rest, yeah, and go ahead and blow. Keep spinning, keep spinning. I'm watching for your bubble, it's coming out a little bit. Keep going if you can, if it feels really hard, we'll stop and get it hot. Yeah, let's go get it hot. You got a little baby bubble in, but we'll get it hot and do that again. It broke right off of there. It went it's all good though. That's not important. Come on out, let's hang over and blow into it again. And keep spinning. Your bubble's getting bigger. Keep going, keep going. Puff with your cheeks like a balloon and it's getting bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger. Stop. Beautiful. Let's get that hot. Somebody come on over and sit. Woohoo! ACDC boy, come sit. All right, come on out, go sit at the bench. We're gonna grab our jacks. And you wanna scooch back a little? This rod's just really long. So grab these, careful. And don't grab any closer to my hand because you're scooching near the heat. And this way. Yeah, right here. Scoot your butt closer. Blow light, super light. Blow just a teeny bit harder. Now put your mouth on it and blow. I think he wants to stabilize. Excuse me. I was like, we gotta go right against it, all the metal. I think he wanted to stabilize. All right, let's stop. Put your jacks down, and we're gonna get it hot and do that again. If you wanna clean up the pipe, there's paper towels right there. I got these for you. Did you get a little alcohol in that? There you go. Yeah, come on out, sit down. Oh yeah. Me too. Go ahead and blow. A little harder. Put your mouth way on it. Put your lips on it. You're blowing a balloon. Can you squeeze a little harder? And even harder if you can. And you can stop blowing. All right, let's put our jacks down. We're gonna grab our diamond shears. This time, this is our first bubble. We have so much time to practice. Good job. Now you can stop blowing. Yeah, and let's squeeze that together. Are you okay? Yeah, I didn't get blown. What's that All right, let's put our diving shears down. Cap it with your thumb, cap it, dip it in water, come on out, blow into it, make sure it's not clogged. There's 
it clogged? No? Okay. Slide your left hand down, get on up and out. Keep spinning, beautiful. Let's go to the marver. Yep. And slowly lift that back hand up and pull towards you a little. Pull towards you. Look at that, this is great. All right, let's come on over here and hang over the end of this bench and blow. Don't forget to spin. Puff with your cheeks like a balloon. You got an itty bitty baby bubble coming out of that pipe. It's getting a little bigger. Keep going if you can. If not, we'll get it hot. All right, let's stop and get it hot and do that again. Start our neckline right here. And you want to blow super light for us. And blow just a little bit harder. And a little harder still. And can you squeeze tighter if you can? And you can put your finger on the end. Perfect. Let's put our jacks down. And we're going to grab our diamond shears and we're going to chill that neckline. Go ahead, put your diamond shears down. And want to hold this. Yep. And we're going to wait until they're done and we're going to go head over. <laughs> Cap it with your thumb. Dip it in water. Come on out. Blow into it. Make sure it's not clogged. Is it good? All right, we're going to go in for a gather. We're right behind you. Come on over. Yep. And there you go. Do a nice big circle. Come on up level. And come on up and out. Perfect. Go ahead over to the marver. Lift your back hand up a little and marver all this glass that's off of it. All right, let's come on over and hang off this edge and blow. We're going to get it hot. So let's heat just the seep so we don't get the whole rod hot. Okay. <laughs> Good idea. Yeah, right? <laughs> yeah, let's come on over and we're going to try to get our bubble this time. So go ahead, hang off the edge, and blow. Keep spinning, keep spinning. You got a baby bubble, it's getting bigger. Keep going, keep going. Keep going. Keep going. If you feel like you're gonna die, we can stop and heat it up again. Yep, and I'll let you know when. Let's 
Let's come on out. Yeah, go ahead and blow. Keep spinning. Spin, 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 spin. It's getting bigger. Keep going, keep going. And stop blowing. Beautiful. Let's get it hot. Somebody want to blow? You got it. Grab your jacks. Don't grab any clothes with my hand right here. It is hot, hot, hot. Let's grab your jacks. And start right here. Blow really light. Let me know if your hand starts burning. Blow even softer. Softer still. Let's angle out. Just a little bit harder now. Can we get them wet? No, let's not get them wet. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and stop blowing. So the jacks, we don't ever get wet, especially now that we're cooling down. If we got them wet, then we would probably put some crackles all over our bubble. When the jacks get hot, we put wax on them and we leave them nice and hot. So let's put our jacks down. We're going to grab our diamond shears and make squeezy marks all around that neck. This is a nice, beautiful, even bubble. All right, let's put our diamond shears down. And we're going to come over here. Beautiful. Put that in the clear recycling bucket. So you're dipping a little deep yeah, just to continue your progress. Doesn't matter, obviously, but. Yeah, I know, I know. But it should be a little bit less. Yeah, just less glass wasted. And here's your ornament. What's your number? And I'm going to come right here. Oh. Want to make another one? It's OK. Are you sure? Well, let's make the, if everyone's gone, then I'll make another one. OK. Ready for another ornament? Has everybody made one? Okay. You can make one after. Cap it, dip it. Come on up. Blow into it. Make sure it's not clogged. Good. Come on over. And come on up and out. Go ahead, put your back hand down low. And lift the back hand up a little bit. And pull towards you. And lift that back hand up some more. All right, let's go get this hot before we blow our bubble. And let's not heat so deep. There we go. All right, let's come on over and rest on the bench. Pop it in the Blow as hard as we possibly can. Stop, let's get this hot again. Yeah, it's just hard at first. Let's not heat so deep. Don't grab any clothes in my hand. Let's grab our jacks and right up here. Squeeze really gently, blow light. Squeeze less tight than that. Blow a little harder. Softer. 
Squeeze a little tighter now. Squeeze a little tighter yet. Blow! And squeeze as tight as you can. And put your finger on the end. All right, let's put our jacks down. And we're gonna grab our diamond shears. So the reason I didn't blow this out as much as we could have yeah. is because when you were blowing your initial bubble, you stopped spinning for a minute. Oh, so you see we've got this thick yeah. side and we got this really thin side. <laughs> it's good though, it's your first bubble. All right, let's put our diamond shears down. And don't grab any close to my hand because your rod's really hot. Getting better. 